Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert uh, with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. And this short video is going to deal with what we have defined to be type, type 3 probabilities. There are probabilities where we're interested in calculating the probability that a Z score or a Z value lies between two bounds, two positive bounds, let's say X1 and X2. Okay, so what we're really interested in calculating is, with respect to the standard normal distribution, okay, the probability of observing a Z score between two positive bounds. So let's pick the positive bounds, let's say X1 and X2, and really the area that we're interested in is the area between these two, uh, these two bounds. Okay, so let's look at an example. Let's say we're interested in calculating the probability uh, that a Z score is greater than 1.57 and less than 2.69 as an example. Now what we know is the first thing we'll always do is we'll draw the standard normal distribution and we place the bounds on the standard normal distribution. So we're going to draw the standard normal distribution in this particular instance, okay? Standard normal distribution centered on zero. And our two bounds are 1.57 and 2.69. Well, 1.57, let's say, is about here. And 2.69 is about here. So we're interested in Z values. This is the horizontal axis, this is the Z axis. We're interested in the calculation of probabilities or Z scores, the probability of a Z score between 1.57 and 2.69. So the question is, can you tell me the area under the curve that resides between those two values. Okay. And like our type 1 and our type 2 probabilities, anytime we have to calculate areas of positive with respect to positive values, we'll always look these positive values up directly uh, on our Z tables. So when we look up these two positive values, the Z value, the first one that we're going to be interested in is, well, the first significant digit and the first decimal digit is 1.5. So we're going to come down to 1.50 here. And the second decimal digit here for the 1.57 is a 7. So we're going to come across to 0 0.07. Okay. So we'll triangulate on our tables to give us the area to the left-hand side of 1.57. Okay. In this particular instance, when we look up uh, 1.57, we're going to come down the tables to 1.5. We're going to come across the tables to uh, 0 0.07. And what we have is we have a value of 0 0.9418. So when we look up 1.57 on the tables, we get 0 0.9418. Okay. Now our second bound that we're interested in is 2.69. So the first significant digit and the first decimal digit in this number is 2.6. So we'll come down the first column to 2.60 and we'll come across the first row to 0 0.09 and we'll triangulate to give us our second value from our tables. So we're interested in 2.69. We come down to 2.6 we come across to the column labeled 0 0.09 to give us a value of 0 0.9964. So that value here is 0 0.9964. Okay, so what do these represent? Okay, so when we look up 1.57 on our tables, we get a value of 0 0.9418. So what that means is that the area from here down to negative infinity under the curve is 0 0.9418. When we look up 2.69 on our tables, we get a value of 0 0.9964. So what does that mean? That means that when we look up 2.69, we get the area from 2.69 down to negative infinity, which is 0 0.9964. Now, we're interested in the area between those two points. And once again, what you can probably see is if you take the shorter line away from the longer line, we're left with the area between those two points. So let's do that mathematically. We want to take the shorter line away from the longer line. So the longer line is 0 0.9964. And we want to take away from that the shorter line, which is 0 0.9418. Okay, now if we use our calculator to do that particular calculation, okay, so the longer line is 0.9964, and we're going to take away from that the shorter line, which is 0 
0.9418 to give us a difference of 0 0.0546. Okay, brilliant. In other words, what we've calculated is the probability of observing a z-score that's greater than positive 1.57 and less than 2.69 is equal to 0 0.0546 or as a decimal that is 5.46%. In other words you're you're going to observe a z score between 1.57 and 2.69 about 5.46% of the time yeah? which is the same as a probability of 0 0.0546. Okay guys, thanks very much for your time. Uh, that concludes this particular short video on the calculation of type 3 probabilities. they are probabilities of z-scores uh, where the two bounds around the z-scores are two positive values. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, I'm Jonathan Lambert from the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland.